Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 22 of Nanbaka. And oh boy, <laughs> that had some really good funny moments in it. Oh my goodness. So with Nico and everybody, you know, they're fine. They're all getting bandaged up and trying to figure out what they're going to do next. Um, and we also do get to go see Ninja Guy. I forgot what his name is. And he's figuring out something with that, um, that, uh, that girl. Like, I don't know if she's important, but apparently she got, like, she passed out or something. Now she's in their little hospital area. I don't know if she's going to be important later or something, but she's there. So those are just kind of small tidbits of the beginning of the episode that I thought I'd just talk about just a little bit, just be like, hey, these are things that happened, but I really do want to focus on the two funny moments of this episode that were hilarious. One being, so, as Jugo, Uno, Honey, and Taurus were like, or I guess that's how you say the green hair guy's names, but whatever, um, were walking and talking, there was this, I guess they triggered a trap where, uh, all this water came flooding down on them, and so... I guess to get all that water out, Jugo like activated a thing where it all flooded out, but in the process he drowned, so he's kind of knocked out at the moment, and then Uno's like, y'all have to do the thing, and they're like, do we have to really do that? And he's like, yes, do it now! And so, um, <laughs> Honey ends up, um, <clears throat> doing CPR on Jugo, and I'm like, I literally had to look away from the screen, because I do not want to see my husband no, being... Uh, I'm like, but it's good enough that they, like, cut it out right before it happened because it was, like, had that one of those, like, pretty pictures of, like, like, rainbows and, like, flowers and stuff that said, please stand by. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh gosh. Because uh, I'm glad I saw that because it's a quick cut. So, like, because I was looking away from the screen. I literally looked away. I did not want to see that happen to Jugo, but it was fine. So, but it was really funny at the same time. But anyway, uh, another funny moment is that in the episode, as they're, you know, trying to uh, get out of their situation currently, uh, that, um, Kappa looking guy shows up, and, uh, he, <laughs> well, alright, so basically what they do is Uno and Jugo and everybody just start calling him a queer, and it's so funny, because they kept saying it, I was like, oh my gosh, and he, of course, denies it, he's like, no, I'm not, the only queer here is that other guy, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they kept using the word, I just laughed so hard, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, so funny. And, uh, yeah, that was a thing. I was, I was never expecting that to come out of anyone's mouth in that anime. I was like, wow, okay. Um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, it's so funny. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a really, like, legit, like, comedy scene from Don Baco, so that was really great to see. Um, <laughs> after all the serious stuff that's been going on, it's like, thank you for the comedy. But, um, also there was a conversation between, um, the other, uh, girly man or whatever he is, uh, and the coppa looking dude, because I don't remember what his name is. I'm just going to call him the coppa looking dude, because that's what they called him. But, um, yeah, they had a little conversation where, uh, you know, the guard's obviously in prison. He's like, I'll give you, like, this super cool makeup or something and some, like, sunscreen if you let me out of here. And coppa guy's, like, trying to debate. He's like, should I portray Inky or should I take the makeup? What do I do? Ah! And it was really funny. I was like, well, that's funny. But, um, in the end, though, in the end of the episode, we had, uh, Cop a guy, you know, figuring out, oh, I know how to stop these guys. I'll steal their key. Key being Jugo. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense because he's the one unlocking everything. <laughs> also, I do want to mention Tori's or whatever that guy's name is with the glasses. He's weird. Okay, he's weird. He's like a handyman or something because, like, when they got uh, in the middle of the episode, because um, I wanted to cover those two uh, funny moments first because they were so hilarious. But with Taurus, or however you say his name, um, he's a handyman, but he's weird because here's the thing. They went into a room with those like like doll things or whatever those creepy like doll things I don't know what they're called but uh they were all like deactive so like he started like digging around in them and stuff and since they're kind of like human flesh it was disgusting and I was like really but he ended up making a flamethrower from it so I guess that's good but what the heck dude like he made a flamethrower a cannon what's next oh my gosh like I I honestly don't know how he made a flamethrower and a cannon from just these dolls that don't really have many mechanical parts to them, but whatever. So, that was something interesting with that character, but, um, in the end of the episode, uh, Jugo gets kind of captured by the Kappa guy, and 
Honey, on the other hand, is not happy with Jugo at the moment. He is um, kind of pissed off at him, to be honest, because Jugo's been kind of running slow and everything. I guess he's worn out. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, so at the end of the episode, Honey was just like, I'm pissed off, so I'm assuming he's going to try to fight Coppa Dude in the next episode. Looks like it from the preview, but we'll have to see how that goes down. So, not much else to say about this episode. Very enjoyable episode, especially those two funny moments, especially the one where they said the queer thing. <laughs> Funny. Oh my gosh. But anyway, what did you guys think of this episode of Nambaka? What do you think is going to happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!